Hi guys, today I'm just going to be talking about this, the 9th and 10th Doctor's Sonic Screwdriver. Now, when character options first made this, and from so on, they were quite upset that the button wasn't on the slider, and so they modified it to do so, to, to have the button on the slider so that they can activate it anywhere it is. Now, a lot of them are quite hard, so I'm going to show you the simplest way today. Even though I, I, I'm sure I've already done a video on YouTube of how to do it, so I'm not going to go into too much detail. But yeah, so, you know, take it out, take this off here, unscrew it, take it out, make a hole somehow just above the button. And when you put it back together, make the button go here, twist it so that the button's here, and then screw screw it, um, the switch back on, put the cap on, and it should do this. One minute. It should do this. What am I doing? What am I doing? Look. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't do mine that well, but yeah, I know it isn't that much detail, but if you want into more detail and see my video, it's called Sonic Screwdriver Modification or something like that. So yeah. Or I might just put a link in the description. So that's that one. Now the second one is also quite easy. Um if you'll notice, if you're a big fan, you'll probably look at the show sometimes and uh, realise that the Sonic, sorry about that, the Sonic Screwdriver, it sort of rattles. Um, a lot of these modifications, I should have told you to start the video, a lot of these modifications are going to be from videos that I saw on YouTube, but some of them won't, some of them will. This one is, I got this from Volt Saxon 07, check him out. I know I always say this, but he's amazing, check him out. And, uh, uh, he he came up with that idea. He much um, I know what he means because I've heard it and thought I might do that. Uh, not really. Uh, the sonic screwdriver it just sort of rattles if something's a bit loose inside the sonic screwdriver and stuff all the time. And in order to do that, you can just not too much, but undo uh, the screw a little bit so it's a little bit wobbly. And um, not too wobbly that it falls off, but just just alright. And then it should be like this. I don't know if you can hear. And I've realised while I was doing it, um, I came up with this. Uh, I realised how I was doing it. Sometimes in like the first episode of the tenth Doctor, and sometimes the ninth Doctor as well. When he extended it, it sort of sounded hollow. Like I can't really explain it. The Celestial Toy Store got that really right. The Celestial Toy Store was brilliant with that. But it's like, and sometimes it will, but sometimes it comes loose. Sorry if you can't hear that, but it, it might work if you try and do it, it might not I mean, if not then I'm sorry. But yeah, so this is what it sounds like when you want to do it then. No, so it sounds a bit loose. Oh darn it, why can't I press a button? Like I said, I'm not doing mine very well because I, I did the hole a little bit too far away from the button when I did the other modification. So, do it like a millimetre away, not too much. Anyway, watch the video for, you know, more information. Um, like I said, I'll put a link in the description if I can remember. If not, then I'm sorry. Just have to go on my channel and find it. But, back to this. Uh, so, yeah, there's two modifications there. Yeah. The next one. Sorry, I don't have a marker right now, but uh, I also got this from the same video with the, you know, the chicken sound. Um, on... Oh, Saxon 07. No one's going to check him out, but yeah. Um, sorry about that. Man. He said uh, that the Sonic Screwdriver, it, there's all, almost always like dirt grinds in it. The Celestial Toy Store has also got that right, but of course they're replicas. They're going to be, you know, a lot better than toys, but still they're brilliant. They're sold out now, but you might be able to get them second hand. Anyway, back to this. Uh, keep going off subject, sorry. Uh, but it, it is. Um, it, it, it is almost always having dirt grinds in it. I wouldn't really recommend doing it with a ninth doctor one unless you're going to paint it on with paint because, uh, you know, the cracks aren't very visible. Uh, the first version of it didn't have any cracks at all, to be honest. So, yeah, um, let's check that out. But what you could do with the tenth doctor one is uh, sorry, I don't have it right now, but you can get the mar a marker 
you know, rub it on a little bit and then rub it in. As it's rubbed in, you're rubbing it off, but it stays in the cracks because it's sort of hollow and it just stays in there. Just keep on doing that. That gives it the dirt grime look. If you want to know more information about that, please do check out Rose Sex 07's one. And also in that video, there was the main modification of putting the button on this part here. You rip it off, file it down, put some double sided tape on it. And yeah, I'll do another video for that. But because it's not exactly the simplest modification, still, but it still is pretty good. Uh, so yeah, there, there those. Sorry about that, I'm back. But if you, you know, if you don't want, if you don't want to really put the button on the slider and you don't really mind it being here, but you still, you know, don't want these buttons because they look kind of weird, then check out Volvo Sex and Seven's modification. Right, next one. The next one, oh, no, sorry, um, if you're like a major fan of Doctor Who, like you're the type of fan that wants really good accuracy, and if you look really close to the show, it is a lot flatter on the blue sort of marble shape here um, in Doctor Who. It is a lot flatter than the toy, a little bit. And, and in order to get that, you would have to be quite careful not to burn it, you know, and overdo it. But with a lighter, you could just go over the top a little bit. I've done this before um, and flatten it down. It should look a lot better. But yeah, that's a small thing. And that's if you're that type of, you know, Doctor Who fan that wants all accuracy on your stuff. Which me, not so much, because, you know, I'm not that mad over it. But... But yeah, it's good for those people. So yeah. You know what? I wish this came with a stand. The next modification isn't so much about the sonic screwdriver, but it's about the uh, the, the the pad that comes with it. Um, if you have one with a pad and you want to look like the psychic paper, um, I mean, obviously, if you get your ninth doctor one, you'd have to buy a tenth doctor one as well which would be kind of annoying and you could save money by sort of with the um, pad that comes with the Ninth Doctor one by painting it black maybe I mean that doesn't really bother me and no I'm not just saying this because I'm bored I'm coming up with ideas you know that would probably help and save money as well hopefully um, so you could probably paint the uh, pad as the psychic paper and that would probably look a bit better neater maybe maybe not I don't know but if you want to, that I think would be probably a good idea. And also, when you do want to do this, I I think it, it you know it's sort of it's a it it um the cause it goes in more well it goes in more snug I suppose you could say. So yeah, that's another thing about that. Um, yeah. So run through all the stuff, once you've done all those things, whether it's the ninth or the tenth doctor, uh, tenth doctor for the cracks though, and then it, you know, that, I think you'd be pretty good after that. But can I just ask, I, I really need answers to this, and that's weird, but every time I get a sonic screwdriver, on the ring there's always like a little dent. I find that really weird. Anyway, um, yeah, off subject. But they're basically all the things that you could do that I can actually think of at the moment. If you want more suggestions, put them in the, com uh, the what am I about? <laughs> comment section below. Uh, I'd be happy to do those, uh, unless unless you want me to wreck them, obviously. But, um, yeah. So these are just simple, you really. You don't need power tools. You don't really need much. And even if you're not smoking, you're probably still going to have a lighter for your cooker. If not, go and buy one. But yeah, uh, it worked for me. I, might, I think it's pretty good. Uh, I might actually do a modification as well. An actual tutorial this time as well. Uh, I'm just going to turn around. Of how to make this black section here yellow or just strip it off and paint it yellow. Which should also look pretty cool. Oh, and one more question. Every time I get a screwdriver at the bottom, it has a dent here as well. Not that, it doesn't bother me whatsoever. I just find it weird. Oh, and also, if you, uh, sorry, one more thing. If you want to, if you want the button on the slider, but you want it to actually look like the buttons on the slider, like the when the tenth doctor and the ninth doctor first started their their episodes, 
then you can just glue one on like it'll still be the same modification but with one extra bit of gluing you know a button on they won't actually work but you know it'll still you know what i mean it'll still look accurate it'll still look the same you know and it saves you money as well i suppose so yeah they're my social modifications i really do hope you enjoyed this video and bye for now